Good day, people. This is Sam South Carolina Happy Bees. This is hive number 400 dead tree. We're going to be, uh, this is a double deep eight. We're going to be going in here and I'm sure we're going to be checkerboarding, but instead of putting a honey super on it, we're going to put a deep box on it to, uh, put the honey frame just in here now into the the deep box and I hope y'all can see it hope you can enjoy it go ahead and give us a thumbs up as we go I'm going to be putting the box top box over here and I have the box that we're going to be putting over here that you can't see my finger but y'all watch it enjoy it give us a thumbs up and a comment Frames over here. That we're going to be doing splitting with. These are eight frames now, and we don't really know what they're doing. We've been a good queen once they got started good. So let's get into it and see what we got. Okay, the last time was uh, on the 5th of this month and didn't go to the bottom. Well, we're going to go all the way down today. We may have to light a smoker. Come over there. <coughs> Put their little feeder ring. There. Put the other little faded ring on top of there. Take your feeder off. Made some more of these yesterday. Got some more bottles. As long as people and me keep drinking. We'll have bottles. Okay, they're up here right here eating their, their um, pollen. So I guess they're not getting enough pollen right now. Maybe we can do this. Y'all can see that. We may have to come back later and change it again. They're there are eating their pollen. I don't know if y'all would rather have this this way or we'll close up. So we're going into this one now. We'll take some of these frames out of this over here so we can make splits. Like I say, we're gonna put all the honey frames this new 10 frame box well like that one that's the super frame and they're building it out now if we were putting a super in here we'd be using that one and I'm sure this queen's a little Honey bound. Okay. Let's see where I need to put the frame. Oh, this is the J hook. This is my high tool. A lot of people like them, a lot of people don't. I've tried a few. I like this one. Mm. Don't talk about my hive tool very much. This one. And honey. Brood. Larvae. And the white queen. How about that? 
cheese. He's right there. So that's the frame we'll leave up here somewhere, probably. Take these little girls off of the piling. Take the piling off from around the girls. We're going to put it right there. We'll fix them again before we leave. Give them another piece of piling. They seem to be enjoying that this morning. This one has brewed. It has stores. It has honey ring out of bound. It has some pollen. It has some eggs. This one has eggs and everything else that goes with it. It has a little honey bound across the top here. And the rest of it is just bee stuff. Doing good. Now I say we we're going to check aboard this thing. I don't know. Say we we're going to add a box. Don't know. Depends on what the bottom looks like. This one is a new foundation that was put in there on the 22nd of last month. It has brood, it has eggs, larva, and it is laid out. That was just laid out with bees on both sides. New frame. They just built, they built that frame themselves now on fishing line. And I don't sound, want to sound like I don't like plastic, even though I don't, but some people I know that I work with, they love it. Me, I just take the time. I put that one in back. I take the time, it takes me about an hour from the time I put my frame down to put my frames ends in. To I finish until I finish. Putting them on the rack, putting them in the box, it takes me about an hour. So that's six minutes of frame. This one has eggs in it already. Okay. That one has eggs in it. Both sides. All three of those little doodities that they're building. I know that little doodity hanging down. Frame things has a word, I'm sure, for it. I don't know what it is. Don't worry about little things. This one is laid up. We could be making some splits here. Which we probably meet. Go ahead and get him. Oh, y'all didn't see that one, did you? I was laid up. Eggs, brood, has a little honey band across the top. And they're saying life is good, Sam. We happy. A little fat across the top. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be taking any frames out of here. It's another foundation that they're building. 
Looks like the Pigs in it, and larvae in it, has a little honey in it. They're doing something up here that we don't. They're just getting a piece of the honey. Like I said, they build it themselves. And they built the one on the, this right here is a little bit crooked, but. That can be straight. New little engineer in here getting started. Graduated school. And they said, sure, you can go out and build something. We're gonna keep an eye on you. And that's what he did. Or she did. Could have been a heat. I think drones do more than what people think they do. This one laid up too with brood. Both sides are like that. This here's got a little fat frame right here, I mean foundation here that we're gonna turn around and put up against the wall for right now. We're going to take this box and put it over here and check the bottom one. That's what we say we're going to do. Now, that's what we're going to do. As I said earlier, I didn't go in the bottom on this one. There we go. Didn't go in the bottom on this one. And they still had it stuck down good. Get their pile thing over here. Put it here. Put this up. Put it there. Sure you can see it. Okay. That whole top laid up. The only one that wasn't laid up was that little frame out, the super little super frame. Some people call them Illinois frames, or used to. This one here is laid up with groceries. There's nectar over here. A little piling here. We're going to put it over here with the other ones. I don't think we'll be adding a box. We may be checkerboarding some of the frame foundations or making splits. This one's got honey in it, nectar pollen. This one has nectar, pollen, nectar, pollen, and room to build. This one out. It was put in the 28th of last month. That they're not really doing a whole lot of. What we're gonna do here? Can't do a whole lot. We can take this one. that's loaded up with bees and stuff. This is going to make the bees do a little bit different. 
and I got it turned around. This one is a grocery store. This one has pollen and nectar and all that good stuff on it. Mm -hmm. This is a journey. We might put all this on the top. Y'all see that? Okay. Same thing on both sides. I think we're going to put these on the top. It's all mm -hmm. nectar filled up. Now the plan here is if we split it on the bottom and put this box up on the top we're not really going to move the box. We'll leave the box. Mm -hmm. but we can put this up there that up there. Take this one and stick it here. This one over here. See, we're just changing the frames. So we have an empty frame. Here's a full frame that's laid up. We're still going to make a little wacky out of it, but we can cut it off. Um, we're going to take this one, it's laid up. We got, they got work to do on it. We're going to stick it here. This one here. Take this one. There's honey in it. There's nectar, and we're going to put it over here. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. We're doing it. I'd have to have it real wide angle. Did it any other way in. This is a fat one. It's 
got eggs. Sit it down here. about where she's at. Y'all, we can do little nukes pretty fast. We do a big one like this, it takes a lot longer. And that is just what it's taking. It's got vitamins in it and stuff that that uh, they may not be getting somewhere else. Maybe that plant is messed up, didn't bloom, died off with all that weather we had. So we're giving them power. Put your head down. This one up again. Okay. Honeybees, queens, on the average, most of them will brood up. Will brood up and she'll lay about lay about uh let me just say they lay up about 10 inches or excuse me 18 inches which is about here uh and then they put that little honey ring around it 
and the honey ray ran it and uh, they normally don't go into the honey super and that's why I don't use the queen excluder. Some people like them, that's good. And all I can say about that is I used to use them when I first started because that's what we were supposed to do. That's eight. Because that's what we were supposed to do. And uh, here we lost it again. We're going to pull it together. We're going to pull it together. This is another brood box. Well, that's two brood boxes that the queen has. BLM, Bees Lives Matter. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I did. Um, okay, we're going to put them another little piece of I'm going to have to cut that part out of here. Because we're not supposed to get getting political with this stuff. Which I don't like it, political stuff with my bees. Okay. Now. We have all these bees up front here. I'm sure y'all saw the one with my South Carolina redneck bee brush, but this is another one. But we got all these bees here. Now I bought those bee brushes. I first started 20 years ago. My wife and I, we went to down on this side of North Carolina. Spent two thousand dollars before I left the store because I bought what? Well, you need this, you know. And I didn't know any better. We didn't have any YouTube's. I had to ask people, to talk to them about it. So I bought everything that people. Some of them had, you know, it's a little teeny tiny place up there in Lancaster. But, uh, you know, the people wasn't really telling me. You know, I was asking and they were telling me, well, you could use this and this was work for this little place. Went back in there another time, well, probably the same time I was spending, the first time I did. But I still didn't learn anything and know any better. So, next time, I bought all this stuff the next time. I don't want to to it here. <laughs> Buying all this stuff, it had some beekeepers in it. Some of those old beekeepers from Germany and you know, Lancaster, that's the only place it was around to, to get anything. Unless you want to go to Brushy Mountain, which was on up the hill, which they started cheating people on the shipping and stuff. They would tell you it was one thing, and then before you were done, it was, they'd call you back in three days and tell you it was. Try back in three days and tell you another $60, so I had to quit that. 
they finally went out of business. It wasn't my doing, it was just somebody else's. But I'm sure these old timey beekeepers and everything was in there just laughing. Just laughing. You all have a great day. This is Sam of South Carolina work for Half the Bees. And I don't know how high this one goes. Okay, that's the top. We now have three deeps on here. That's one, that's two, and that's three. We'll come back in a couple of weeks and see how they're doing. Y'all saw all how they did there. Give us a thumbs up. Give my bees a thumbs up. Leave us a comment, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day.